Hey, this is Sasha, and today I wanna to share with you how to analyze your competitor's SEO, or their search engine optimization strategies, and just the way that they're getting ranked. Now keep in mind, as we go through this video lesson, that no search engine optimization or SEO analysis is really going to be perfect to analyze your competitors, because different websites get ranked slightly differently just because the way search engines work. Now, some of them get ranked very well for certain keywords because of their popularity, meaning the amount of backlinks that they have. Others have done a great job at optimizing their keywords. Um, and some of them just have a great social presence. So there's a lot of additional factors that go into ranking websites that you can't really get from a full analysis. Even if you used five or 10 different tools to analyze competitors, the key question is, is where is it worth it or how much time do you want to invest to really analyzing this so that what what's the end result because ultimately that's the big question what is it that you want to get out of this analysis do you want to figure out the backlinks do you want to figure out the type of keywords there are or do you want to figure out open areas that you can maybe dominate in maybe a certain niche that's maybe less saturated so again go in with a purpose when analyzing your competitors because there's many different reasons to analyze your competitors maybe because you want to get above their keyword or rank a little higher well in that case even if you did everything exactly like they did you still might not get ranked higher you just might have a different domain your site speed might be different just a lot of different factors so keep that in mind as you go through this analysis but i do want to share with you a few tools that you can use to you know take a look at your competitors get some insight and then once you have some insight, it'll allow you to make some changes depending on what your goals are with your search engine optimization campaigns or your SEO strategies. So take a look at some of these tools that I'm going to share with you. Most of them are free or at least have a free option to just getting a demo um, or a free trial. So here we are. The first one that I want to share with you here is Moz. And this is uh, moz.com slash research tools slash OSE. Uh, you can really just look for a Moz tool or a backlink checker. This one develop a high quality inbound link check profile. So if I wanted to go ahead and just do an analysis of, let's just say a certain website, and uh, let's just pick a certain website here of a uh, tile company or a roofing company. And if we go through and we just pick a certain company, let's say this company right here, Mosaic, Mosaic Tile Company. Okay, so I'm, I'll just take this URL. I'm gonna go ahead and just type that in. We'll go ahead, hit the search button. And what it's doing is it's evaluating and analyzing some of the results. Now, already you can see some of the results are populated. The domain authority right there, spam score, uh, established backlinks right here, root domains, total links. You can see how it's already being um, populated and things are loading. Now, I also have some results that are being loaded right here. Um, so once I get rid of the annotations, you can see some of those results and it shows you these links. Now I can go ahead and filter some of these things uh, by, you know, the types of links and, you know, if I want to just see what competitors are linking to my competitors or which websites are linking to these competitors, then I may want to reach out to those websites as well and see if they'll link me or how can I build a partnership. So in either case, you can see it'll give you some ideas such as, okay, well, right here, here's a Yellow Pages listing. Well, maybe I'd like to get listed in Yellow Pages. So again, all these things will continue to show you the list of all the different links. And in that case, you may want to take a look at where are they being linked and how can you also get linked in that area. So this is a nice little breakdown in this manner. Of course, you can play with this tool. Uh, there's some other things that you can take a look at, like on here on the top left, there's the top pages. So as you take a look at this tool, you can get analysis and evaluation of these things uh, to maximize the link building. So again, analyzing the top pages, and again, you can see here's the data. Uh, there's also anchor text, linking domains. So you can play with some of these things. So the anchor text that's being evaluated, you know, most of the time it's the company name and it'll give you some other stats and details. So again, 
take a look at some of those things. Um, there's a lot of other little reports that you could do, but this is one of the uh, one of the first tools you could check out. Um, you know, if it, and it really depends on your your business. So if we do logo design business, and we take a look at logogenie.net. So let's just analyze this one real quick, just to give you some insights of something a little bit different. Logogenie.net. You can see domain authority is 38. It discovered page link 17 days out of 60. Page authority 48 out of 100. There's 6,269 total links, which is huge, right? And you can see there's one to 50 of the links are being shown right here, where they're being linked from, and so on and so forth. So anyways, that's the first tool. The next tool that you can also look at is, let's just say, this one. This is GT Metrics, and this one analyzes your site speed. So if I go ahead and take a look at logogenie.net, you know, what it'll do is it'll test some servers and you have to wait a little bit for this to go through and wait for the process. So I'm going to go ahead and just give it a minute and pick back up here in a second once the results are in. But in simple terms, usually the faster the results of your website or the better loading time that it has, the easier it is for the search engines because they can load it quickly and it helps boost your score as well. Again, it's not the only metrics to get you ranked higher in search engines, but it all helps. All of these things work cumulative together in order to get your ranking. So let's see what this comes out with. All right, so here's our results and the results that we got from this GT metrics. Obviously, every speed test that you'll do will be slightly different, but you can see page speed got an A, uh, Y slow score got a right here, a 76, a C. Uh, so page details, load time 3.4 seconds, uh, total page size is about one megabyte and requests. So average of page requests. So you can see where things are also optimized, optimized images right here. That's probably what you'd want to do. It'll tell you some of the things that are working well and things that are loading quickly or some of the things that you may want to fix or correct because sometimes there's some hanging scripts, sometimes there's too many pictures. Um, you know, so you can also take a look at some of the other um, things that they have here on hand with statistics and, and options and video, uh, but that's beyond the scope of this, um, this lesson. So take a look at a tool like this to take a look at the speed and how quickly things load for your website because all those things will help with your rankings, with the search engines, and so on and so forth. Another tool that you may want to take a look at is actually uh, Majestic, Majestic.com. And if I, again, type in logogenie.net, what it's going to do is evaluate and analyze uh, that site. Now, this, again, talks about some backlinks here, referring domains, referring IPs. Uh, it'll talk about uh, also some backlinks breakdowns. So follow, no follow links, anchor text. So those are some of the things that will uh, take a look at. Um, but you could also, what's great about this is this is a general summary. So if you get into topics over here, uh, you could get into some topics, referring domains, backlinks, so anchor text. So again, but you need a free account for this. So you can go ahead and sign up. So here we go. Inside this account, as you can see, when I search for custom book cover design, you can actually look for keywords and keyword phrases. You can just go into this and now you'll see in Google here some of the rankings and listings. It's going to show you some of those page results. It'll also tell you the search score. It'll tell you um, the ref referring domains, external backlinks. So it'll give you some additional things and data. Now, you won't get the full data here because if you're not fully subscribed, then you can see or dig deeper, but it'll at least give you the first 10. You know, even if you look for, let's just say custom logo design, again, it's another way to just really see these top 10 rankings. Okay, so what is this search score? You can see search score tells you what the in title, anchor, URL, and some other things plus their multiplier. So, you know, it gives them a ranking, it gives them a list, and it gives you some insight. You know, again, it's another tool giving you some factors and statistics that you can explore. If you're interested in keywords, then what you should do is take a look at this term explore. Now you do need an account, but accounts are free to try, so you could try it out. Uh, but here, if you look at a bulk keyword tool, and again, let's look for a custom book cover or a book 
cover design term, okay? And uh, book cover design. So that's our primary keyword. Let's say ebook cover design. We'll do a quick little small job. We'll start this. And what they'll do is they'll take a few minutes and analyze these keywords. And again, it'll give you some insight to these keywords. So right now, once this queue is finished, you'll see these listings come up and populate right here towards the bottom. So give it a minute and let's see after it creates this thousand list result. So you can see right now we have 81 that's being loaded. So right there you can see it tells you about the pay-per-click competition, average searches, average uh, cost per uh, click. Um, so those are some of the fields that it gives you. But again, let's let it give it a little bit of time to load and take a look at this. All right, so once things are complete, you'll see the done here at the top, but you can take a look and this will give you some ideas for some keywords. So ebook cover design, that's the main one we search for. Tells you how many searches are there per month. Uh, right there, it'll give you the average cost per click. If you also look at the next keyword, book cover, you'll see it's a little bit, you know, more searches per month, but it's not as specific to what I'm looking for. So again, it depends on how you're analyzing things and what you're really looking to analyze for. Are you just looking to get ideas for keywords or are you looking for, um, you know, keywords and seeing the cost per click because you're looking for advertising campaigns? Then in that case, you might want to look at various factors, right? So you're going to look at these data sets differently than maybe someone else would look at these data sets. But again, taking a look at this tool, you can see how it's done. It could give you some ideas for keywords. It'll show you some competition. It'll show you cost per click. So if you're definitely interested in cost per click, it'll give you some of that insight for you. Another tool you may want to take a look at is kwfinder.com. Now this tool, it tells you exactly at the top what it does. It's find long tail keywords with low SEO competition. So if I look for custom book cover design or let's say ebook cover design, Let's just do a quick little analysis and see what we get. All right, so you can see here the results right there and these results for ebook cover design, it tells you a quick little trend over the last 12 months. Uh, book cover, book cover design right there. It tells you the search amount, the search volume right here at the top. It'll tell you the cost per click, pay per click. So I definitely like this tool a lot better. Uh, than the term explorer, but you can see, you know, it gives you a nice friendly list right there. Uh, again, that you can see some quick little listings of some keywords, some tools, some insights to the trend, what's going on, what's happening. Ideally, what you, what you would like is to see an upward trend. Um, you know, if you see a keyword where the trend is picking up, something like this, for example, you can see it's on an accelerated path to the upside. And this is maybe something that you'd like to target or uh, play on in terms of your search engines or write about or create a blog post about. Uh, but in either case, again, this gives you some insights to some keywords and things that you may want to target. Now, here's some things on the right as well that'll give you some, some of the more popular websites. And you can see here, it gives you a domain authority, which is directly from Moz. When I do this pop-up, you can see right there, let me zoom in on it. You can see domain authority right from Moz. You also have page authority, which is coming from Moz. Moz rank URL. So you can see many of these things are populated from Moz tool that we looked at earlier. But again, it gives you some insight in another way to look at some of these results. So again, very nice tool, very handy for doing some suggestions, some things to think about. Um, in order to brainstorm some either content, uh, look at the competition, or look at the cost per click. Now there's one other tool that I wanna share with you, and that is the keywordtool.io. Here, if you look at the keyword tool and I type in custom logo design, and what I do is it goes to Google, search English, hit enter. It'll give you some uh, terms or words, again, that you can brainstorm through. So you can see here, custom logo design, free, Etsy, app, service, online, prices, uh, custom logo design maker. Um, if you do uh, logo design on its own, it'll give you the broad range. So if that's where your starting point is, again, logo design free, logo design software, uh, logo design online, logo design contests. So again, there might be somebody who's looking for logo design contests. And if you're writing about logo design contests, 
that'll give you an idea, hey, this is a content piece I want to make. Now on this tool, it doesn't really give you the search volume or those kinds of things um, like the KW Finder, like it does over here, but it does give you some more ideas and it's quick and it's easy to use the tool. Uh, in that case, if you do want the search volume, you do have to pay for that. So a thing to consider. But what's cool about this tool is you can actually go into YouTube. So if I did logo design on YouTube, now you can see logo design, Illustrator, Photoshop, um, you know, uh, Photoshop CS6, the process software. So they give you a lot more, um, uh, I guess, search related areas because you could do the same thing on Amazon. Hey, if I go to Amazon and I search for, let's say, uh, CPU chip, you know, and now I'm looking for a CPU chip, what are some of the key words that people are searching for? CPU chip, CPU chip holder, CPU chip set, uh, case. So those are some of the things. How about a computer case? You know, you can search the Amazon um, criteria here, computer case for laptops. Oh, okay, you know, for me, I'm thinking computer case as a big case that you install your computer in, but you have cases for laptops where, you know, computer case fan, a full tower, mid tower, uh, power supply. So all these different things, you can search these different little areas, which kind of is interesting, especially if you're making videos a lot, let's say on YouTube, and you're looking to how to write an ebook. And now let's see what we come up with. It'll be things like 24 hours, a week, one hour, step by step, fast. And as you can see, those are some suggestions or ideas that you can use. So those are a lot of the tools that I have here on hand, um, you know, and that I've used over the past. And by all means, remember that all these tools are just guidelines and suggestions. So remember, every tool is just slightly different. They cater and focus towards different things. Not one single tool is going to give you the big picture of everything that you need to do to get ranked higher. Always keep your primary goal in mind when you're looking at these tools, because in the end, you could have a whole list of keywords, but what's your goal? Is it to come up with new blog ideas or blog topics, or is it to get ranked in better uh, terms that are getting searched more often? Or are you looking to figure out which links the competition is getting linked from so that way you could reach out to those websites or attempt to get linked from them as well. So again, look at your goal first in mind prior to doing the analysis of all these tools because a tool is just a tool, but some people make the most out of certain tools because it just depends what you're using it for. Some people use paper for writing, other people use paper to create fantastic origami uh, characters and creatures. So what is it that you use your tool for when it comes to search engines? So I hope you found some of these tools that I shared with you helpful into looking at uh, some of the things that you could use to benefit your website or increase your rankings or just give you some things to think about as you analyze your competition. These are not the only tools and tools may continue changing throughout your lifetime over the next few years because they'll constantly keep evolving, new companies will come out, but this is just a starting point. Thanks for joining me today in this video. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did and you want to join me on some of the live classes that I have, or maybe join me on some of the exclusive training videos that I share, I share those with my newsletter subscribers and members. And you can be a newsletter member by clicking this link right here. When you click that link, enter your name and email address on that website and you'll be added to the newsletter list. There's absolutely no reason why you shouldn't join because it's absolutely free. So click the link right there and get started. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.